Hello, it's Phil Thatch and I'm here at the Rich Grissom Memorial Wetlands, also known as Vieira Wetlands. And we just learned that you can no longer drive through. And uh, so our plan was to come here and drive through the wetlands. We've, uh, we're super tired. We have been on the road all day. It's about 3.45 or four o'clock. And we've been on the road since six o'clock this morning. We drove here all the way from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And this is in uh, kind of the Eastern coast of Central Florida. So we're worn out from that long drive, but we're gonna walk around here and see what we can see. Uh, Heather's with me and uh, she's shooting with the Z50 and the uh, 200 to 500. And I'm gonna shoot with the R6 and I've got the 800 and the 100 to 500. Well, we are hiking around and we're not gonna do uh, the entire thing because it's just too much, especially for Heather. And, uh, but we've, we've finally gotten to where we have the sun at our back. And while we didn't have the sun at our back, we made a few photos. Um, I think I got an Anhinga in flight and maybe a great egret. And both of us got some shots of uh, what I think is a red-shouldered hawk. This is the red-shouldered hawk that we saw. And I opened up a whole can of worms trying to figure out why it was a slightly different set of colors that I'm used to seeing back home in Tennessee. And I learned that the Florida version is called the Extimus red-shouldered hawk. And we're used to back home the Lineatus red-shouldered hawk. And there's also out in California, another variety. And there's lots of red-shouldered hawks. I had no idea, but the one we photographed here in Florida is the Extimus version. And there it is. Now these, Heather found and photographed this Osprey as it was flying around though. It looks exactly like the Ospreys back home and exactly like Osprey I've seen photographed in other parts of the world. But she did a really nice job grabbing some photographs of this Osprey. In this one, it's kind of slowing down and hovering, looking for fish below, which is cool. Here, Heather made a photograph of a great egret as it is walking around in the shallow waters and doing some fishing. They're quite successful fishermen. And here is a nice up close photograph that Heather made of a great blue heron, which I love to make photographs of this variety myself, but I usually do them back home at the Chickamauga Dam. There was a smaller gator right here, alligator, maybe, what do you think, four or five feet long? Yeah, probably. And then a larger one that was maybe six or seven feet long came up behind it. And we were, Heather and I were both making pictures of the smaller one and all of a sudden there was the bigger one and I decided I'd get this vlogging camera and try to make a little video clip of both of them because they were kind of moving around a little bit. A lot of times when you see the gators, they're just kind of sitting. And they got into a little tussle, uh, but by the time I got my video camera going, they were, they were down into the reeds to where you couldn't see them, but it was, it was really it something. Was something to see. Have, you, uh, have you ever seen anything like that um, before? I've never seen anything like that in my life. Nor have I. That was that was something. That was pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, anyway, we'll show you some some photographs of the smaller one. Did you take any of the bigger one? Yeah, I've got some of the big one. Gotcha. And at the same time, right over here, uh, on top of this uh, storm drain or something, is a great blue heron. And there was he's just chilling. And oh, he's there he goes. and there he goes flying off. I don't know if you can see him. Uh, but there was a a snowy egret right there as well. So I yeah, I see great blue heron all the time at home. So. I didn't worry about that, but I, I took some photos of the snowy. Did you take some of the snowy? Yeah. Cool. Here is my photograph of the snowy egret that was across on the other side of the walking path from where the alligators were. And this is Heather's photo of the same snowy egret. I thought she did a much better job capturing the egret and she captured its signature golden slippers. Now this is Heather's photograph of the smaller of the two gators and it was kind of walking around and you can see that it has its foot in the air and is walking in this shot. And here's another one of Heather's photos of that same smaller of the two gators. And on this one, she's just kind of gotten an up close shot. Now this one is the larger of the two. It was further down the hill and it's the one that kind of came up behind the smaller one and started that tussle. And I made a photograph of the larger one as well. Look at all those chompers in the mouth of the larger of those two gators. It was really something when they started having a little tussle. Well, now we're working on these two black vultures, which is funny because there's black vultures all over Chattanooga, but rarely do they light in a pine tree with a, looks like a mated pair. So we've both made some photos of them. I switched over to the 100 to 500 because I had to get back too far with the 800 and it messed up my composition. 
but we're still making our way around. Here are the black vultures sitting in the tree. I thought they were absolutely beautiful and I liked the light on them, although the one on the right has a little bit of shadow on it. But they're beautiful birds, even though they are also ugly birds. And I stuck with the 100 to 500 and made this photograph of what turned out to be a palm warbler. And I was really excited to see a warbler there, but it turns out that these palm warblers, and as you can see, I've switched to the 800 millimeter lens. It's better for small birds. We saw palm warblers all over the place. And we even saw them at Walt Disney World. Uh, and here is Heather. She got a photograph of the palm warbler as well. And now as we were making our way around, we ran across another alligator alligator sitting there on the side of the walking path. Uh, you got to pay attention or you might miss that thing. And I made this video clip of it. And I also made a photograph with the 800 F11 of just its head as it was laying there waiting for some prey, I guess, there in the grass. And then we got back to working on palm warblers for a while. It was really fun to see them just bouncing around on the shore. If no big birds were in the distance, you could shift gears and work on the palm warbler as they were much closer to you and really just a beautiful little bird. Well, the sun is continuing to go down and we've kind of settled in on this bench. There's kind of a rookery straight across over here and uh, we've seen a couple of spoonbills over there, but you really can't get a picture of them. They're so far away and they're kind of buried in the in the bush, but it's the first time we've ever seen spoonbills in the wild. So. So that is pretty cool. And we've seen a bald eagle flying around and, and uh, we've taken pictures of a bunch of boat tail grackles and just all sorts of stuff. I thought this black vulture standing on a post was absolutely beautiful. I liked the light on the bird and I also liked the bokefied background I was able to capture with the 800 F11. And here's a photograph of an anhinga in flight. You see a lot of these in Florida. We get them in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area, but nowhere near as many. Here's a video clip that I made of a boat tail grackle as it was in a little bush. And then I made a photograph of that same boat tailed grackle there in the bush. And I believe Heather also made a photograph of that same bird as well. There were quite a few boat tail grackles and I always see boat tail grackles at the rest stops when I'm on the way to Florida and it lets me know that I'm getting close. Here is a tricolored heron that I made a real quick video clip of as it was walking around there. And here's a gator swimming its way across. Look, here's a really terrible video clip of a bald eagle that was soaring high above the Vieira wetlands area. And while I made this terrible video clip, Heather made this photograph of that same bald eagle and she cropped it quite a bit and then she ran it through Gigapixel AI on a 1.5 magnification setting and ended up with a really nice photograph, I thought. Look, here is a sausage fest of male bolt tail grackles hanging around on the back of a park bench there at the wetlands. Heather and I both photographed this great egret that was there on the side of the walking path at Vieira Wetlands. I guess she made her photograph a little bit before me while it was facing the left and I made mine after it had turned around to the right. Now I like the warm tones in this mixed with the blue reflections of the water in the background. So that's why I shared this one. But I shared this one, even though there's less of the warm and cool tone combination that I like. I shared this one because it was walking and you can really see how its legs bend the wrong way, which I always think is kind of interesting about birds. I remember the first time I made a handheld photograph of the moon during the day and Heather freaked out about it. And now these days she makes her own handheld moon shots. Here are 10 white ibis as they're flying in for the evening to roost over at the rookery. I thought this shot turned out pretty nice. And here is another uh, pair of white ibis also flying into the rookery. The sun was going down and the birds were coming in for the night. And then as I faced the other direction, I was able to capture, I believe this is a little blue heron flying across. And I love the background in this, the beautiful color. Actually, I guess this is the opposite direction of the sun because when you face the sun, it looked like this. I made this 400 millimeter photograph of the sun as it was setting with the beautiful water of Vieira wetlands and some vegetation. And then this is after that photograph. These are all in chronological order. Here is a red-winged blackbird. Heather made a photograph of this bird 
and I made one as well at the exact same location. During my photograph, the bird was making its call sound that you hear quite a bit around wetlands. And this next photograph is a couple more white ibis flying in, but I happened to capture them right as they were flying past the full or nearly full moon that we had that evening. So I thought it turned out pretty cool. All right, well, this Nikon ZFC can make it look like it's bright and sunny when it's almost dark, but I'm shooting at uh, F3.5, 125th of a second, and ISO 3200. So just to give you an idea of what it's doing to overcome the darkness, but we were on the trail over there and I saw uh, a bald eagle and I'll show you a little clip of it that I made, kind of zooming up to it with the 100 to 500. It's kind of an optical illusion. The clip that you just watched, I was on the path in the distance there and look, there is a bald eagle in that tree. But that path in the foreground of the tree is not as close to that tree as it looks like in the beginning of this clip. But I actually made this photograph from the same place that I made that video clip from. By the time I had gotten over there a little bit closer on that path, it was way too dark to make a photo. And Heather made a photograph of the bald eagle in that tree as well. Beautiful, beautiful bird, beautiful background, beautiful all the way around. And then we, I came over here and ran trying to beat the sunset and uh, it was just too dark. But I, I, I mean, I got a picture of it, but it's even over here, it's still a long way away. But it's always cool to see a bald eagle. And uh, I think Heather's already gone to the car while I was out running around like a maniac. But uh, we're coming back here in the morning. We're, we're spending the night in a hotel that's pretty near here. And so we're coming back tomorrow morning. So check out that video, which could be next, or I don't know, it might be a week or two down the road. You never can tell. I have no rhyme or reason to how I schedule videos. But we appreciate you watching this one from here at Vieira Wetlands and look forward, hopefully, to seeing you in the next one. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.